Thank you everybody for joining me here today. Uh, my name is Tom Devine. I am with AV Pro Edge and Bullet Train Cables. And today we are going to be going over a new product launch for a new uh, USB 3.1, 3.0 extension cable that Bullet Train is manufacturing. Um, we are gonna be going through the training today. Um, right now I'm talking to you in the GoToWebinar platform. If you are listening live, thank you for joining. And if you have any questions, just place your questions directly in the uh, questions tab on the GoToWebinar control panel. Once you type it in there, I will be able to see um, I will be able to see your uh, questions, and then I can address them. And uh, you know, uh, if you're having a question, that probably means everybody else is having a question too. So uh, please let let me know. And if you're watching this on YouTube later, no problem. Just put your um, question directly in the comment section and we will get back to you as soon as we see the, the notification that we have a comment. So let's get into this guys. Um, as I said, we're gonna be talking about a, a USB 3.0 extension cable. And so, you know, let's talk a little bit about USB. Uh, USB, everybody knows about it. It's, you know, every single person, whether they realize it or not, is basically using it every single day as they, plug in their phone or you know plug something into their computer or they use a webcam or a microphone or a conferencing system or you know USB is everywhere and as USB becomes such this universal signal uh, travel uh, method what happens is we need it to keep advancing so we need to get better and better USB signals and with better signals that equals more data and more bandwidth and as audio video integrators, we're very used to dealing with high bandwidth. We're in audio video, the place where we have the highest bandwidth um, around. Um, so we are able to deal with that, but USB is a little bit different. Um, and so it doesn't work exactly like HDMI, but with a new specification of USB 3.0, you are now able to send 4K signals from cameras, from USB cameras and get really high quality audio um, from USB microphones into your conference room system. And as we are in a world where everybody is needing remote communication and conferencing systems and huddle spaces and um, at home offices, this is the time when we really do need a, a solid stable extension for for USB 3.0. The specification calls for two meters. So your cable should not be longer than two meters when you have it connected to USB 3.0 or 3.1 devices. And that's really short. That's really, really short. So if you need to go to a camera that you wanted to even mount on you know, top of a TV or something like that or uh, on a wall, you're going to have to look outside the box for a solution for passing those for passing that data and so that's where av pro comes into place and that's where we through our bullet train um you know a line have developed a 3.0 extension cable uh it has a usb a that you plug into your host and it has a usb c that you can plug into your device your device being you know the camera or the microphone or whatever uh peripheral you need to plug in um, we at Bullet Train have been making and selling HDMI cables for a long time, and we're really, really good at it. And we have 10K cables, and we have cables that do 48 gigabits per second. Well, we take that, took that same engineering, and we placed it into USB. So now, through USB, we are able to, you know, um, do all the things that we want to do. We can send signals um, to, from, to and from our cameras, to our conference room controlling devices, to a computer, all sorts of different things. Uh, we took the exact engineering for high bandwidth signal flow from HDMI and we applied it to USB. Uh, we work directly with ClearLine to put ClearLine fiber optic cables into this, um, the, into this cable. So, Clearline, they uh, developed a their proprietary super safe um, fiber optics where integrators like yourself are able to actually terminate it in the field much quicker than terminating an RJ45 head. And you will then now be able to um, pass high bandwidth, you know, audio video signals or data signals through uh, a network switcher or whatever you'd want using Clearline. Well, 
we know that 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 having that fiber is really valuable so we have put two strands of that fiber in this cable um, so if all else goes wrong and you have this all the way pulled and you no longer need it for a usb you can clip off both heads and you can terminate that fiber in between um, for whatever you needed it um, allowing you to have a really long lasting solution that can outlast just the normal use of usb 3.0 So to go over this cable, um, we are going to have different sizes available. Right now we have five through um, 20 and 30 and 40 will be coming in the next month, uh, uh, a month and a half about. Um, we have no power needed. So you just plug this in and it works right away. It works with USB 3.0 and 3.1. You can do super high speed transfer rates or just normal um, uh, USB uh, uh, speeded rates. Uh, that aren't the super speed um, and then you can uh, you know run it through your walls it is CL2 and CL3 rated um, it is not plenum rated if you are needing a plenum rated cable just give your sales rep a call and we can uh, look into the options that we have for you and that's a picture of it right here but let's take a little bit closer of a picture um, this is what you, the device is going to look like so you have um, it connected right here it says connect to host connect to source device you know that's something that we have to as um, people who are using this as people that are talking about this with uh, uh, end users and installers installing this it really is important to understand how this usb signal flows because it is a one-way device um, it says it has a little picture to make it easy that you plug this into your computer but it may not be a laptop computer. It could be the codec in your conference room. It could be wherever your peripheral, uh, i.e. the camera or the microphone are gonna be plugged into. Um, usually it's going to be a, a conference room codec or a laptop computer or a desktop computer uh, of some sort. Um, as you can see, we'll have it wrapped up um, like this with uh, nice, it, it comes in a nice bag and a nice box so you know it's going to be well protected when it's traveling to you. Um, and uh, we used really nice metal heads. So you're going to have a really long lasting um, uh, cable that is not going to get you know, worn out through normal wear and tear. It, it, it is built to last. It does have the uh, AV Pro Edge uh, 10 year warranty. So let's just go through a little bit of the features um, with this. Uh, it has up to five gigabits per second for data rate. Like I said, CL2, CL3 has the um, the fiber optics. It can go up to 40 meters. Now, sometimes we can, we'll look at some applications here in a bit. Um, you may not need to go 40 meters and that's why we have a five meter available. But if you do need to go 40 meters, it's going to be there for you. There's no power required. Um, and we have a bend radius of five millimeters. So if you understand how small that bend radius is, it really allows you to almost tie this cable in a knot and still work. Now, I do, definitely do not suggest that, but it gives you some leeway when you are installing it. If you need to do, you know, put it through some conduit, you have an extremely strong pull capacity. We have a Kevlar strand that runs through there and ties off both ends in the head. So when you are pulling on it, you're not pulling on the cables, you're pulling on the Kevlar. And that with the bend radius, because we're sending signals using clear line fiber, it is a tiny bend radius. Um, you're go not going to find your cable getting uh, a little kink in it and then not working. Um, it's going to continue to work. It, this, this cable is built to last. So there's the connection diagram. Pretty simple, guys. You connect it to a computer or a codec and you connect the other into a camera. Now, if you guys have ever used Zoom or Teams or any of those types of uh, programs, this connected device will just show up in your menu system. So you could change your video, change your audio. And if let's say this was a Logitech uh, camera in your computer, it would say Logitech camera. Do you want to select it? And then you could select it. So it'll just, even though this is up to 40 meters away, your computer's going to look at it like it is directly connected, um, you know, a couple feet away. Why we're at this spot, I'm gonna we're gonna talk a little bit about applications and the applications really, guys, it is going to be, because this is USB 3.0, 
Um, there are solutions for USB 2.0. We already have them. We have an extension cable you can use category cable for. But 3.0 is a little bit harder and point to point extension is expensive for uh, USB 3.0. So this, with this solution, you're, at, you're able to extend USB 3.0 for cameras, for data transfer. And the most time that you're gonna be working that, with that is when you're doing those conferencing systems like Teams, Zoom, um, these, the, the cables that AV Pro Edge and Bullet Train are putting out for you fully support Zoom and Teams so that when you are using these um, services, it will look as if your computer is directly connected to any of the microphones or cameras um, that you need to be using for your Teams or Zoom meeting. Let's look very specifically at a website here. I'm gonna pull up this website. All right, so if, as you can see, guys, I'm just at the Logitech website. And Logitech is the, the place for um, conference rooms right now. They have tons of packages for conference rooms. And if we look, you know, here's gonna be what your conference, the, your little huddle room looks like. We'll look at this, a smaller um, setup, then we'll look at a larger setup. So if we look at this smaller setup, this is very common. This is extremely common. And if you are not installing, this is this is what how you should be installing conference rooms now. You have your little controller conference room codec. You have your um, Logitech bar that's gonna have speakers and a camera, and then you have your display. And now with this, you can hop on Zoom Teams and you can chat with the people in this these chairs. They would all be able to see you, whoever you're connecting with through Zoom Teams or any of those. But if we look at what makes up this is we can see that what's gonna drive the signal from the control all the way to your codec is blue, that's USB. Well, like, as you guys are installers and you know that this cable is not going to just be flopped out on front of this table and ran through here, you could imagine this is going to be a lot longer than six feet, uh, six inches. And so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to have a USB extension cable. And when your camera is dealing with 4K, you don't have a lot of choices right now. The choice is bullet train cables. And for the price that we are putting it at, there's no competition around. Um, for pricing, all you have to do is get in touch with your salesperson or your distributor, and they will be able to get that for you. So let's look at a little bit of a larger setup right here. You know. This is now a, a bigger conference room, same type of setup. Um, you know, you have a lot of different chairs here. We have different microphones that are around, um, so everybody would be able to hear. We have our one controller right here. How are we going to get that information in this controller over to our camera that maybe needs to be moved around and such? Well, of course, that answer is USB. And look how long this cable needs to be. And as you can see, there's a couple little ones in there as well. So these little ones, they might be less than six feet. You can use the cable that comes with the device. But for this connection right here, you're going to have to find something else. And this is how a lot of conference rooms are being sold right now. And that is why, you know, we the reason we developed this cable, the reason that we brought this cable to market is we heard from people, hey, I'm only able to extend HDMI or USB 2.0. I need to extend H or USB 3.0 and it was looking at that it cost almost a thousand dollars an endpoint for the uh, for extenders so we went to our engineers and we came up with these cables that we're selling right now they are available um, you can get them today so put your orders in um, and uh, the they're they're ready to be shipped and they have been fully tested and ready to go now 10 year warranty, um, you know, I touched on that quickly, but we have a, a no nonsense warranty. If this cable doesn't work, then we will make sure that you are, get one that does. Uh, simple as that. Um, our website is up, so you can go to bullettraincables.com. I'll pull that up here. Bullettraincables.com, you can go to products, uh, USB, and then USB type A to type C cables. And then you can, see the description the specification has some research resources you can you know check out what uh what they're going to look like what the box looks like um you know have the different um information you would need to make an educated decision have your customers look at this um in case they want to just check out uh what you're installing at their place 
So guys, this is uh, the HDMI cable. There are a few caveats. I wanna let you guys know that it does not do HDMI 2.0. So this was specifically built and engineered for H, or I keep on saying HDMI because you guys, as you know me, I talk a lot about HDMI, but I'm talking about USB, so I'm sorry. This was built uh, for USB 3.0 and 3.1. The way that the USB signals are flowing for that type of um, signal, it's not using the old method that, that USB 2.0 did. So this cable will not extend a USB 2.0 signal. You, it is for use when you have USB 3.0 devices, like a cable, like a microphone that is going to be st um, structured where it stays in one place, you connect it one time, and then it will work for a long time. So you may be asking, well, if I need of something that is backwards compatible for all types of USB, do you guys have something for that? And of course we do. If you miss the training, you can just use the hub just like this one. This is gonna allow you to use 3.1, 3.0, 2.0, 1.0, 1.4, .0, 1.0, all next to each other and through these um, ports and then send it back. So you still definitely have that option. Just know that when you buy the um, A to C cable, it, do, it is built for 3.1 and 3.0 devices uh, only. All right. I know this was a pretty quick training, but that is all I have for you guys today. Uh, I look, I'm, let me check the questions tab. I didn't see any come in, and yep, still hasn't come in. And hey, I didn't expect you guys to have a ton of questions about a single cable, uh, especially a USB cable. I know you guys know what you're talking about. You guys are the experts. Um, but if you do have any questions or qualifications or you want to just get a little bit um, more details on this, you know, you can visit the website, call your RSM, call uh, AV Pro's main number. We would definitely be able to help you. If you have something, a question for me, no problem. I can answer you directly as well. My email is tom at avproglobal.com. You can send it right over to me. Um, so without that, thank or with all that, that is all I have for everyone today. Thank you guys so much for joining me on the training um, and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.